What's up everybody, it's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. <clears throat> Today's video I'm gonna talk about is pain. Now, a common question that comes up for me is people with legitimate pain are put on prescription painkillers, they're taking them as prescribed, and they become dependent on them. Now, to kill their pain, they start taking more and they run out early. What scares them is they think that the injury that they were put on the painkillers for is getting worse or that they are still in severe pain because when they run out of pills, they get severe bone aches. The place where they were injured gets worse. Um, they're in more pain now than they ever were before. <clears throat> and I want to just touch on the subject because I'm not speaking for every person that has a legitimate injury, but what is common is that you are going to feel pain because of the withdrawals. All right, so it's not saying that the actual injury is getting worse, but the actual withdrawal is causing the pain. So people that have no injury whatsoever, they're on prescription painkillers, they're taking pills recreationally, what have you. They get addicted to them, they stop taking them, they go through withdrawals, they get severe bone aches. Every part of their body hurts. You're gonna feel the same thing if you're dependent on them and you stop taking them. So I don't want you to think that you're in more pain now and you need more of them because of the way you feel when you come off. To really get an idea of how bad your pain is to reassess your pain, say you're coming off of your pain medication and you're detoxing yourself because you want to reassess your pain before you have to have another surgery, you need at least two weeks off of the painkillers before you can actually feel legitimate pain. Now putting yourself through that is tough, all right? No one wants to go through pain just to see if they need another surgery. That's, that's a horrible situation. But I want you to be able to reassess your pain correctly. If you come off of painkillers and you only give yourself two or three days, you're still feeling withdrawal symptoms. You're gonna feel pain. You're gonna feel worse than you ever felt. You're gonna think, all right, I need another surgery. I need to be back on these painkillers immediately. And that's not necessarily true. I'm not speaking for everyone, so don't jump down my throat but there's a good chance that the pain is not as bad as you think it is. So you have to give yourself more time. Who has two weeks to just do that? It's hard because most people need to work. They need to go back to their jobs, um, put food on the table. So it's a, it's a crappy situation, but I just wanted to hit on the subject because a lot of people get the wrong idea when they come off their painkillers. They think, oh, I'm in worse pain now than I've ever been off of these things. I need to go back on them. And it's just because of the withdrawals, all right? I know I kept repeating the same thing, but it's very important for you to understand what these things do to your brain. When you go through withdrawals, how they make you feel, the bone aches. I mean, some people you just touch their skin and it feels like they're getting hit with a bat. It's just the way withdrawals are. Every withdrawal is different for every person. So understand that it might not necessarily be the actual injury. It could just be the withdrawals. All right. I think I drove that one home pretty hard. Um, questions or comments below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.